this was the best fight of the night guys so Machado just brutally knocked out Jaras Corrales I was impressed by both of these guys I thought Corrales was really beating up uh, Machado Machado was undefeated going into this fight but for like for the for the, for the first five rounds I thought Corrales was really being aggressive uh, and beating up like I said Machado and just schooling him dogging him bringing the fight to him but then in the second half of the fight Corrales started getting caught with like short hooks from uh, Machado then come out I think round eight or round nine they were both exchanging like they were going toe-to-toe -to -toe exchanging and Cor Corrales throws a nice little hook and actually catches uh, Machado but then Machado throws his own straight left hand right on the chin and Macha and Corrales goes down hard and he gets up the, the referee waves the fight his legs were gone so Machado is now a, cha uh, a champion he's a new champion at 130 pounds uh, Corrales lost his belt in the scales uh, he would have had he won he would have not been a champion anyway because he got his belt stripped on the scales the title was only on the line for uh, Machado so there's a new champion at 130 uh, Machado, uh, he's trained by Freddie Roach. Uh, again, I thought he was losing the fight, but he has power, and that's what built him out in this fight. It was power. It was a very impressive knockout. This was the best fight of tonight. It was way better than that boring Demetrius Andrade versus, uh, uh, you know, Atlantis Fox. It was Atlantis Fox who made it so boring. Uh, now, we got Lomachenko as a champion. We got, you know, this dude... We got, I think, Miguel Birchlet. I would like to see Javante Tank Davis versus this Machado dude. I think Javante Tank Davis will lay him out, but it's an interesting fight. Uh, I think Vasily Lomachenko schools him, too. Uh, because I don't think he's the best skill for skill, but he is a puncher. Uh, and he comes to fight, man. This was a very entertaining fight. Very entertaining fight for the small weight class. For the 130-pound weight class, for the weight division. If you missed this fight, man, I feel sorry for you. It was very entertaining. Uh, both of these guys came to fight. Like, Corrales was really throwing bombs. Like, I've never seen Corrales this aggressive. Like, he was throwing bombs in this fight. He was trying to knock Machado's head off. And Machado was very aggressive, too. Uh, very entertaining fight. Uh, even though I was disappointed with the Demetrius Andrade, Alex, uh, Atlantis Fox fight, I was happily entertained with this fight. Very entertaining fight. Um, very impressed by both of these guys. I will say, though, I was more impressed by Jaras Corrales. I thought he was the more slicker guy. And he was just, overall, he had the better combinations. But this was really like the underdog. He was he was the underdog. Machado was supposed to lose. And he pulled the upset. This was this is an upset. A lot of people thought Corrales was going to win. Uh, Machado came through and just decked him like Machado has a lot of heart because he got dropped he got dropped and he was hit with he was getting hit with overhand rights all night by Corrales but he has a tremendous chin and he had a lot of heart he kept coming forward he he, he kept persevering and um he took Corrales out with a, with, a le with a left hand and that was all she wrote so like I said there's, a, there's now a champion again I, I don't think he could compete with the crim of the crim of the featherweight division the super featherweight division I think guys like Lemachenko and Javante Tank Davis beats him but still, it's a new face now because Corrales was a, a little up there in age. And now we got like a young dude in Machado. He's Puerto Rican. So this is like, I guess, a new Puerto Rican star. Uh, yeah. Even though I don't think he is the most, most talented guy, he's entertaining. And, you know, he's fun to watch. I was I was excited. I was I was entertained the whole fight. I was watching. I couldn't. You know when the fight's entertaining when you can't take your eyes off the fight. And I was watching all night. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's all I have to say. If you like the video, thumbs the video up. Please subscribe and it's up to Sam Regarders out, man.